the wind is getting up now I'm having to hold on to my hat a bit <laughs> that looks spectacular I can see the sand blowing across the beach look at that that is amazing you don't get to see that every day can you hear the wind wow got a bunch of deck chairs over here I don't think there'll be too many takers for them today <laughs> welcome to another video the walk on the wild side and I'm here in Blackpool it's early morning at half past seven and uh, it's the morning after the big storm storm Lillian but was it a big storm yeah we had 70 mile an hour gust last night I didn't get woken up funny enough uh, but I noticed that the bird table had been blown over and uh, I've come out here by the way to Foxhall and not far from uh, Chris's place just around the corner and I thought I'd take a look on the promenade the wind's getting up a bit as I get closer to the promenade uh, it's getting a bit breezy now so let me know what it was like where you are I'm now on Foxhall Road uh, I've seen a few wheelie bins I've seen a few wheelie bins floating around but what's it like on the promenade? Is it, has there been any damage? so the wind is getting up now I'm having to hold on to my hat a bit but just coming up to the promenade I think the gales at the moment are around about 55 miles an hour oh my goodness look at this now I'm out on the promenade and my goodness I'm having to hold on to my hat but I'm just at the central pier I'll show you around let's have a look shall we there you go central pit the big wheel's still there uh, Blackpool Tower's still standing <laughs> so this is how it looks on Blackpool Promenade at half past seven Friday so the the, the strongest of the winds were actually not too long ago actually about two hours ago I can hear the wind blowing through the tram tracks not the tram tracks <laughs> I meant the overhead wires <laughs> when you get that whistling so oh you know what we were so lucky in a way that the high winds the highest of the winds coincided with a pretty low tide because the high tide is something like nine meters possibly even nine and a half meters so if if it had coincided with with the high tide we could have had we could have had some flooding but oh my goodness look at this that looks spectacular i can see the sand blowing across the beach look at that that is amazing big wheel still standing as you can see look at oh my goodness that looks spectacular folks that is amazing what a sight that is wow look at that well it certainly dried up the beach we haven't really had much rain I think I'll go underneath the central pier let's go under the central pier to the other side shall we I had a few people asking me there was someone that fell off the central pier a couple of weeks ago it was just over there it was just over there fell through a a trap door yeah 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 that it was on that bit there over there somewhere up there in the middle near the middle yeah but we're just coming out to this oh look at this isn't it spectacular wouldn't you just love to be here in Blackpool right now being able to walk on the beach first thing in the morning well maybe not quite first thing in the morning look at that come on You don't get to see that every day can you hear the wind wow oh my microphone's working all right but there you go this is what the this is what we have to put up with in Blackpool we, 
all the buildings, the piers, the tower, everything else has to contend with this. Wow. It's certainly breezy in Blackpool this morning. Just listen to that whistling there through the barriers here. I'm just going to come up the other side. Oh my goodness, I'm really having to hold on to my hat here. Just across some happy days there and the waxworks. Oh, listen to that, folks. And now as we look this way, well, these seed pod things tell it all, don't they? Look at the way that they're blown right over. The wind is now, it's changed direction from last night to this morning. We've actually been in the eye. I think we've been in the eye of the storm. So now it's a westerly. Oh! Not seen anything, any damage so far. We've got a bunch of deck chairs over here. I don't think there'll be too many takers for them today. <laughs> not long since the air show as well plenty I think they sold out of that chairs on the air show oh listen to this let's have a let's have a little look from up here shall we oh look at that wow the wind is coming right at me now well I tell you what it doesn't put some people off look at that guy out there metal detecting I think I should have a go at that shouldn't I oh it's blowing me back, it's blowing me back. <laughs> yeah, the sight of that sand blowing across the beach, it's absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Yeah, the only problem is you get sand in your eyes. I've got quite a bit of sand in my eyes now, so... <laughs> yeah, but it's spectacular, isn't it? Got the Ride the Lights event coming up, the big switch on coming up soon next week. Oh, the weather's a bit better for that. You know, these barriers are cropping up absolutely everywhere now. They're ugly, horrible barriers. Look at these here, look. Everywhere. We've got them here now. Outside the RNLI, look at that there. It used to have barriers there. Oh my God, it's starting to, starting to look like London. Around here. Look at this here, look. They've got one on the tram track. Oh my goodness, look at that concrete barriers. All up the road as well. Look. That is unbelievable. I can't believe this. Look at that. Aren't those ugly, horrible barriers? And we have to put those up. I'm a bit hacked up about that actually. Does my head in. Coral Island opening up. All the uh, the uh, Hood Place, Blackpool Rock. It's getting a bit busy on the promenade now. Listen, can you still hear that? The whistling. Wow. Town's still standing. There you go, Blackpool Tower. Still standing after 130 years, it's been through a few storms in its lifetime. Still going. And as you can see, we've got pretty much a solid metal barrier going over. They're going to be permanent, these, aren't they? Do they have these in other countries? These metal barriers. <laughs> Looks like all this area up here is all being prepared for the the big switch on because they're going to have a stage up here by the comedy carpet anywhere around here the stage will be they're putting up the screen in over there that's the screen they always put that up between now and until the illuminations are finished so it's looking a bit bleak this morning. There's nobody on the comedy carpet. Well, I'll be on there in a minute. 
I'm just coming onto it now. I think I can see a lesser black back gull just up there. But apart from that, it's uh, pretty quiet in Blackpool this morning and not really any damage to report. So I'm now just behind this massive windbreak here. I tell you what, this must be really, really tough material, this. You can hear the wind just battering this uh, material here, yeah. So they've got one side done, and they've got the other side over there to do, I think, yeah. So, yeah, so there you go. It's going to keep the wind off here. And during uh, Christmas by the sea as well, that'll be back again in um, November, I think. So there you go, that was a little look at Blackpool early morning after Storm Lillian. Did you get any problems? Did you uh, did you lose a bird table like me? <laughs> I'm sure I can fix the bird table. Anyway, that's it. I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.